this is the main piece of the jig. It is about 1.2 meter long and I'm leaving about 10 centimeter on both ends. And it's a 65 mil in across like that and 19 mil in thickness. Now I have all the um, recesses and the channels cut out. A uh, mark, sorry, mark. Now this is 18 mil across, and this is the reset for the washer. And this, um, this here is the other reset because we need two bolts. Now I'm planning to make it about four or five mil diff um, and this here is the channel for the bowl and it's eight mil across oh, this is the bowl that I'm going to use for it so it's going across like that all the way across like that now the tool that I'm planning to use to cut the channel and the recess is the small Prioritize plow plan and I will be using the 18 mil plate for the reset and the 8 mil plate for um, the bow channel. I'm not sure if the router plan alone will do it. Um, if not, then I will have to do some jigsaw work to actually cut the the um the ends of the channels So I have finished routing out the two channels for the bolt. Um, as you can see there, the bolt travels quite freely uh, in the channel. I managed, I think I managed to make it a little bit, just a tiny bit wider than the bolt diameter. So that makes it a lot easier to adjust and stop. Now, and next I'm going to do, to cut the reset for the washer and it is the reset the two recesses are about 18 mil across and this here showing the 18 mil router plan light in against the marking so pretty fairly fairly Cool there, <laughs> so I think I done a good job of marking it out. Finally, I have finished routing everything out, and I think it is reasonable. It does look okay. That bit there, I have some sort of tear out in there, but I think it's isn't a big deal. Originally, I planned to file out some raw washer and fit to, to fit it in here but I think I'm going to cut out some um, square washer using some governized leftover stuff that I have using two pieces of re recycled Douglas fur or Oregon pie for the parallel bars. Um, I have finished just choice one side of the bars. Um, I am going to do the drilling and then I'll join the other side. I'll 
drill the hole, screw it onto the other bar, sweat it, and then use the saw to cut it into the distance of the saw. That way it will be much more accurate. Uh, what I mean is this. Okay, so this here is, is the distance from the blade to the base. So the protruding part of the other bar need to be exactly that long. Now, now, so I will, I will mark the line to drill the hole from here. Uh, as you can see, I set it much longer. So after I screw it on, square it, then I'll use this the saw to cut it. That way it should be that accurate. Oh, you you see what I mean when when it's done. I have set up my drilling jig for the first hole. It wouldn't take too long to drill it. And then all I have to do is just to advance it to the second hole and that's about it. Okay, finished the first bar. It turned out quite okay, I think. So that's it there. And that that is on the other side. So I, I think it turned out well. Uh, let's let me show you the other side. So the other side look like that now. Uh, I haven't finished with this part yet. So after I cut it to size and center. I'm going to clean it up a little bit more and I'm going to blend this side as well just to make it a bit nicer. Um, if for some reason I decided that I'm not going to use this, I can always replace it with some other thing. Let's, let's see how this one turn out. Uh, I am ready to cut this two side now. So as you can see there, it is dry. I'm pretty happy with the result. So I'm going to repeat the same process for the other bar. And then this is the second bar. I'm, I'm going to cut it to size as the first one as well. Okay, all the parts are ready. So I can actually assemble it and test it out now before finishing off. So the first test run with this jig. This is the piece of recycled floorboard. The thickness of this floorboard is just about the same as the two uh, parallel bar there. So that make it a bit easier. And as you can see, I have secured it down with a, a clamp there. So it's a pretty, pretty secure. Now, so I'm going to, I'm going to put down the camera and then I'll start a cut. It's actually pretty, pretty straight. With the uh, uh, um, 90 degree angle. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good and pretty happy. I have finished the jig. I'm including giving it the coat of tang oil to protect the timber. And this would be my first test cut as a finished jig. So it is a piece of cheap boat 
of about the same thickness as the two parallel bar. Now, um, I'm setting up the um, the square there just to show that it is in a straight line uh, on on both sides. So that is important because that would ensure that the cut is straight. Uh, now, my sole is a bit heavy, and I have always realized that. I need two hands to operate it. So that is why I made this jig longer on this side so that I have enough uh, clamping support for it. So for this piece there, I need to use three clamps. So that's a little bit clunky. But this does ensure that um, my work piece is completely secure. It doesn't move uh, during the cutting process. The reason why I need this clamp here is just to ensure that this doesn't pop down when the sole pass over it. Um, now, so that being said, I'm going to do the cut now. Test, see how this cut turn out. Yeah, I think it's it is a straight line, and on this side also. Yeah. It's okay. Now, so this is a 90 degree angle. There. On this side. You see the, the cut piece? So I think overall it, it turned out okay. Let's talk about another limitation of this thing. Now this piece that I want to cut is thicker than the the thickness of the two parallel bars. So the weight of this will put it out. So that means I will need something to lift it up to the same level and clamp it down. Um, it, it could be done, it, but it means that this jig will work best with stock that is about the same thickness as the two parallel bars. Um, that's, that's okay for the time being because I'm not planning on cutting anything very thick. Uh, so I have some project coming up. I will use this one for a lot of cross cut. See how see how it's performed. If I found that it is in inadequate, I will make some modification to it and do a new one or something. Uh, this is the the very first Jacob this kind that I have built. So I may not have done a very good job with it. I need to use it in order to know how it's performed. I'm sure I will build some other jigs as well. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you find this a little bit useful. I hope that it is not a complete waste of your time. Um, thank you, I appreciate your support.